A man who spent four months sailing solo around the UK in a tiny dinghy is on the final few miles of his gruelling challenge this lunchtime. Andrew Hill-Smith, a retired psychiatrist from Godalming, calls himself the shrink in the drink. He'll end his circumnavigation in aid of three charities near Gosport this afternoon. Sarah Farmer met him in Lymington this morning. Well, this is day 101 of a pretty epic adventure all the way around Great Britain in a laser dinghy. The man doing this task is Andrew Hillsmith. Andrew, what an incredible task. Why have you set about doing this? Good morning. Oh, yeah, well, I um, like an adventure and I saw the number two guy because number three means I'm the third laser. I saw his adventure on Facebook and thought that is so cool. I'm going to have to do that. So I waited till I retired for the second time and thought, well, let's go for it. And have you had some challenging days out on the water so far? Lots and lots of challenging days. And as I say, I've enjoyed every minute of it, especially the bad bits, because the bad bits make the good bits even better. It's definitely raining, but I'm getting a lot wetter from all the spray. And you're hoping for some windy conditions to see you over the line today? Yeah, the worry of today is actually getting to the finish line on time because there might be some people waiting. So I'm hoping for a little bit more wind. It's looking better already, but no wind and opposing tide, that's difficult. Very best of luck for the rest of your journey. We have already seen Andrew get across 2,100 miles so far. The final 16 or 17 to go today, the last 1%. Let's hope he can cross that finishing line in good spirits. Here we are, 101 days after he first set off, and Andrew Hillsmith has completed a pretty epic challenge. Congratulations. Tell me, what have you achieved this afternoon? Well, thank you very much. It was a bit of a slow sail. I was worried about the wind. We've got just enough now, but so nice to finish off here. I feel really pleased, and what a great crowd. Isn't that lovely? Such appreciation. A huge warm welcome waiting for you here. You covered 2,100 miles. There must have been highs and lows in that time. <laughs> Loads of highs and lows. I mean, Portland Bill was a real challenge, and David Head. Uh, Scotland wasn't too bad, because there was no wind, lots of blue sunshine. But yeah, real highs and lows. Today, a bit of a dull day, but got the job done we got here. And you're doing this all for some fantastic causes. You're the shrink in the drink because you're a psychiatrist, child yes, psychiatrist. Yes, yes, yes. So tell me why, what that's inspired for your charity work. So yeah, uh, as a psychiatrist, I'm supporting Place to Be, which is the yellow one in the middle. And that's a children's mental health charity. But I'm also supporting Andrew Simpson Foundation because they're raising money to help disadvantaged kids get into sailing. So that's a really good way of improving your self-esteem. And of course, motor neuron disease, because my uncle died from motor, motor neuron disease. It's a great charity supporting people with a disease and looking for solutions so that we can find a cure. Well, congratulations. Some great causes and a huge achievement. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much. He's back on dry land after that, and there are lots of people here to welcome him and join the celebrations later. Absolutely. Congratulations. Let's get the forecast now. Alexis is here. Where I was, it was beautiful.